It's Ricky Reglato again from Route Rosalado Services, cleaning and cocktails. I'm super excited and I got a lot of great feedback from the last video that we did that was based on entrepreneurship, right? Scaling a business, going from small to big. So what I want to do is let's do another installment, right? We're here in the local Chicago area. This is Tom from Seaway Supplies. Remember, we're talking to the small business community here. So let everybody know who you are, where are we, and what are we about to do right now? Appreciate it, Ricky. I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Tom and Gorin with Seaway Supply Company. We're located in Maywood, Illinois, which is just west of Chicago. 30,000 square feet of cleaning equipment and supplies. What does that include? Well, let me show you. Let me walk you through the facility. Awesome, awesome. So we've taken truckloads of product and we put it away. You can see here, we've got towel and tissue, which probably is our biggest mover. We sell more toilet paper than any other line item. And we have tons of it. Even during the toilet paper shortage of 2020, oh, we had paper. Right. Behind you, uh, we've got a lot of chemicals and some PPE. We've uh, been fortunate to be able to get our pipeline back open on gloves and certain chemicals. A big reason why we started back here and why I wanted Tom to just walk us through everything is us as cleaning business owners, right? A lot of the people that, that are watching and, and that are part of the audience. I wanted to give you guys a, just a, a behind the scenes look as how complex and how organized and how much goes into being a supplier. You're just gonna be amazed as how much organization is here. So I'm, I'm just super stoked for you guys to kind of see what goes into this, right? We literally, we, we started with where things get delivered and you're about to see where everything gets organized here. Inside the warehouse, we have the fastest moving items closest to the dock. That also includes heavier items. And then we have different cleaning supplies. If you look down the aisles, you'll see almost all Spartan Chemical products. That's our favorite vendor. It's Shameless our... plug on Spartan Chemical, Jim yes. Miller. Jim Miller. <laughs> Jim Miller, he's the man. We sell thousands of items and we warehouse a couple of thousand. Many of the items are concentrate, so a couple ounces per gallon. So the large users, they get the yield, they get the productivity. Time is money and you need to clean effectively, you need to clean efficiently, and you need to clean successfully. What I love about Seaway is you get to touch and feel the products that you're purchasing, which is super important because online, nothing against online purchasing, but you really don't know what you're buying. If you don't know the product, you're, you're, it's a risk, right? You're taking a risk. Exactly. So that's, you know, an educated customer, someone who uses the product knows that they want the broom to feel a certain way or the mop to absorb a certain way, or they don't want it to be too heavy or too light, or they don't want the mop hairs to, to be left on the floor. So if you're working and you know the differences between the products coming here, helps you get what you want and then be able to go work and, and accomplish the job that you want to do. Because experience, and I, I watched you grow your business, mm -hmm. and you'd come in and say, but this is what I like and this is why. Yeah. And that's very helpful because then you could say, well, if you like this, then you'll like this better. Which is what you would always do. Yes. Rick, you told yes. me you like this. It, yes. So again, it's, you know, you guys know I preach all the time is us as owners, us as management need to always still get into the thick of it and try the products ourselves, try the equipment yourselves. Because again, it's, th this is all dollars. Everything here comes at a cost and you don't want to waste money on things that you think may work. Uh, you want to know that they're going to work because you tested and tried them first. The tricky part of the warehouse is we've got a few different sections to it. Okay. And so we've got the important section in front, which has got all the big movers. And then back here, we've got some of the things that aren't as big. So what we try and do is understand what the customer needs, who they are, what we can do for them. So we've got a lot of customers that are multiple years. Uh, we continue to work together. We continue to meet their needs as their needs change. Mm -hmm. And uh, we stock products because we don't want you to run out or we don't want you to overstock if you don't have room for it. And Tom, that's a big reason why, you know, I always tell the audience too, and I tell anybody that I talk to is it's super crucial from a supplier and equipment standpoint to have a partner, have somebody that, you know, you can touch, text message, call, uh, because again, the, you guys are the experts in this field where you know what's available, you know the SDS sheets, you've got the manufacturing relationships where if I'm bidding a big contract, if I'm trying to win or be more productive with an account, I need your intelligence, right? Because if you are in 
the, the mode of I want to grow and build and scale my business, you need to have partners. You need to have supply, sorry, and equipment partners because that's really the only way you get to that next level, um, right. in my opinion, right? I agree. I agree. A lot this, of this, this equipment is all in for repair. This, this is not the cemetery. This is not the cemetery. Okay. The cemetery is in the back. Cemetery is in the back. Yes. So we've got a cemetery back there of uh, either parts or soon to be scrapped product. And, and you know what? Brings up a good point. Real fast, I'd like to tell the audience, we are as environmentally responsible as we possibly can be. We recycle all the corrugated we can. We recycle all the metal we can. We think twice about everything we do and we uh, direct people to green, clean type products as often as we can. So we don't just throw stuff in the dumpster and not think about it. Super important part back here, guys. Again, if you're, because when you're getting into the industry and you're growing your business, nine times out of 10, you're not gonna have a repair person, right? You're, I mean, unless you're the owner themselves can repair the machines. When, I, when we first started, Tom was a place that we came to, right? Like we came here to repair a lot of our equipment. Cause again, why? It's big bucks. Those are those are big ticket items that you cannot discard if you can get years out yes. of them. So yeah, for a lot of businesses, it's a big purchase. Yeah. A lot of businesses don't have multiple pieces of equipment, so they need to get their equipment back into the field, back into making money. Yeah. It's so, just it's convenient. It's, it's a convenient, convenient value add. Uh, yeah, it's a convenient value added. Well said. Back here, we've got a VCT floor, which we've done strip and wax demos on. Ricky's team has been in here. Uh, they've done hard floors, they've done carpets. We just took this floor, uh, Ricky, that we're standing on and took off the old epoxy coating. And then we polished it with diamond abrasives and diamond floor pads. And we put a densifier down. We're doing different things. So when we talk to you and your team you've, you've and you say, it. this is my situation, yeah. we've got hands-on experience where we could say this or that, depending on your need. So here's the thing. You go out and you pick up a new account and they've got eight locations and you've got to put equipment in eight locations. It's a good chance we have it. Yeah. You're able to come here and get things. You don't have to wait for shipping and factories, processing times, and we've got stuff. And now on the internet, and a lot of uh, your listeners and uh, people who watch the videos experience this. They, they see one thing on the um, internet and then when it arrives, they yeah. didn't see the print or the manufacturer or the distributor they didn't have it listed correctly. Think about this, right? Here's a perfect example is it, not that you can't go online and search, go online, do your research. But then if you see a Viper 20 inch scrubber, right? That's a square versus an orbital. You could say, all right, cool. I'm going to, I'm going to message my supplier. I'm going right. to go in person, right? right? This is what I would do all the time. Yeah. Come here, test it out. Right. Because once you're here, you nailed it. Right. There'd be a machine where I would say, Oh my, it doesn't have, it doesn't come off the ground. Oh, yeah. I, I thought it had the wheels to come off the ground yeah. or a lift or a lift. We're here. It's, you get to say, Tom, George, the team, you know, walk me through these machines. You know what? At the end of the day, I don't like these three. I like this one. Right. I'm walking out confident. Yes. Right. Yes. And, and you're going to be able to go to work and go to work, go to work. Over here, what we're doing, we've got an area where you're basically going to be able to get everything you need. If you were starting an account right in this spot the dustpans, the brooms, we're just kind of setting it up now. It's like a starter kit. Starter kit setup. Okay. Uh, the mop buckets, the microfiber, the flat mops, the window uh, microfiber towels, everything will be right here. So in theory, you can come in, you can look at your checklist and get all the things you need in minutes and be gone. Going to the big box, again, great, convenient, they're everywhere, right? But this is janitorial, right? This is specific. Like there, there's things here that Again, you can touch and feel and look at and use where every, for the most part, they're not going to be stocked in a lot of the bigger box stores because they can only have so much real estate. We're here. This is a janitorial supply warehouse. All right. So I hope everybody finds that helpful and useful. What we just did right now throughout Seaway uh, of, of doing an actual on-site tour, right? Of actually getting a, being able to see the behind the scenes of what's going on with a supplier in their warehouse. I can't stress enough, but by having partnerships and, and knowing who you're buying from and building a relationship, you're able to leverage that much more than just a buyer and seller, right? I'm leveraging knowledge, opinion, direction, training. Tom, I can't thank you enough for showing us everything back here. Um, just, man, share, share some 
some golden nuggets to those well, watching. I would like to say thanks for coming in. Thanks for taking the time uh, to view the business, to share the business. Uh, and I'd have to say that it's who you work with, whether it's your associates on your team or your customers um, and their associates, you know, you do want it to be like one big group of people working together uh, to achieve a common goal, to keep the uh, public safe, which sounds pretty large. Um, but in reality, this past year, um, it's really uh, come to a new level of importance. And, uh, and again, especially for those in the Midwest, obviously in Chicago, uh, time delivers to the Midwest, but even nationally. So do me a favor, all this information is going to be down below. Contact, website, everything you need to know about Seaway Supplies and Tom himself. Uh, so, you know, check them out. If you're, if you're, especially if you're in the Midwest area and you want to come and visit. Again, I got to believe the doors are open. Come, get to know Tom, get to know who Seaway is. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you, everybody.